Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a one product Shopify store as a beginner. To get started, you'll need to create an account on Shopify and I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up for completely free. With this link, you'll be able to create a free account on Shopify for the next three days. Then after that, you'll only be required to pay $1 per month for the first three months. So once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And this is how your Shopify dashboard looks. Once you have created your account, the next thing we're going to need to do is add our product. And the platform that I would recommend that you use to find your product is Modalis. The reason why I recommend Modalis is because you can get started for completely free and it also offers numerous features that can come in handy even with a complete beginner on the e-commerce platform. So you'll need to go onto modalis.com then you are going to tap on start for free and you can sign up for completely free it doesn't require a credit card or anything like that you'll be redirected to this page and all you'll need to do is tap on retailer once you have tapped on retailer from there you could fill in your first last name email address create a password then you are going to simply tap on shopify and you are going to tap on sign up once you have done that you will be redirected to this platform and you can see right here here is my shopify store name if you don't see your stop shopify store name right there you are going to need to tap on connect your store and all you'll need to do is tap on add new store then select shopify and from there you can add your shopify store by simply copying the url once you have done all of that all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option Tap on ready to sell. After you have tapped on ready to sell, from here you'll be able to add any product from AliExpress. As you can see right here, they have products from AliExpress and they also have products from suppliers in the United States and also the United Kingdom. You can use the most relevant right here, or better yet, the filter to decide the price range that you would like or the type of brand that you would like to search for. And if in the future you'd like to do some print on demand, you can also use this platform. But let's say for example's sake, I would like to add this product. All I would need to do is tap on add to import list. Then you are going to tap on view in import list. And the next thing you're going to do is scroll down. And from here, you can view the description. You can view the variance. You can also view the pricing or the recommended pricing. And you can see the estimated profit right here. You can change the pricing if you want. Next, you are going to tap on add to store. And the product has now been added to my store. So if I were to go back into Shopify, tap on products right here. You can see that the product has now been added. So let me tap on preview on store. It is as simple as that. You can see that the product is now there. And you can also see the description and everything right there. Once our product has now been added, the next thing that we'll need to do, we want to create a stunning product page. And to do this, I would recommend that you get PageFly. To get this up, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap right where you see apps. After doing that, you're going to tap on all recommended apps. Then from here, you'll see PageFly Landing Page Builder. You could tap on it right there, or you could tap on Shopify App Store. Then from there, you'll simply tap on the search bar. And from here, you could type in PageFly and then select PageFly. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on Install. So let's install it real quick. Then from there, I'll be showing you how to create a stunning and high converting product page. Then you are going to tap on install app. Once on this page, the first thing we're going to do is enable PageFly. So to do that, all you'll need to do is tap on online store from the left hand menu option. Then you are going to automatically go onto the themes page. 
Once on the themes page, as you can see right here, I want you to tap on customize. After you have tapped on customize, you will be redirected to the editor page. And I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on app embeds. After tapping on app embeds, right where you see page fly theme helper, you are going to toggle that on. Then go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on save. Once the changes have been saved, you are going to tap on exit in the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on exit, you will be redirected to this page and you are going to simply tap on apps. Then we are going to select page fly. Once on the page fly dashboard once more, as you can see right here, what we'll need to do next is create our first page. So to create our first page, all you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on pages. After you have tapped on pages, what you will need to do next, you are going to tap on create from template. As we are beginners, we are going to use their template option. So we are going to tap on create from template and we are going to select product. So let's do that real quick. After you have done that, you can see numerous templates that you can use. Some stunning templates right here. So all you need to do is scroll down until you see a template that you like. So let's say, for example, we would like to use this template. All you will need to do now, you can see how the template looks right there. If we like to use. Okay, once on this page, we'll be able to edit the template and add our own personal touches. The first thing we're going to do, we can simply scroll down. You can see how it looks right here. Anything that you'd like to change, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there, you could tap on add elements. So if you would like to change the layout, you can do that. If you would like to add a slideshow, you can also do that. And if you'd like to add a heading or paragraph or even a button, you can do that quite easily by simply tapping on the feature that you'd like to add and simply dragging it to the page. You can also add YouTube videos or Vimo, Vimo videos better yet, as you can see right there. But let's say this is it. All we'll need to do now, we can tap right here. And after tapping right there, from there, you could change the photo. So all we'll need to do, we could simply tap on clear. Once you have removed the image, what I want you to do is add an image of the product that we had imported. So all we will need to do is go back onto Shopify. Then we are going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on products. After you have tapped on products, you are going to tap on the product page. Once on the product page, all we will need to do now is simply save the images. So let's do that real quick. We are going to scroll down and from here we can simply tap on the image. Once the image opens up, as you can see right here, you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on download. So let's do that real quick. Once the product has been downloaded, you are going to simply go back into PageFly. Then from there, we are going to tap on select image, then tap on upload from computer. After you have tapped on upload from computer, you are going to add the image that we have downloaded. It has been added, you are going to tap on it. Once you see the tick, you are going to tap on select. And you can see it right there. The next thing we are going to do, you could the next thing you could do if you'd like to add an alt text, you can do that. You can also add a title text. Then we're going to scroll down and from here you could add a call to action button. So you can see right here, click action. Where would you like to lead it? So we are going to tap on go to URL. Then we're going to select the URL right here. We are going to redirect it to the product page. So we're going to tap on products, then tap right there and tap on select. So if someone were to click on the product, they'll be redirected to the product page. After you have done that, you could scroll down and from there, uh, we're going to change the text. You could change the text right there and you could change this section also. And you can scroll down and you can edit all of the sections on this landing page. Once everything is there liking, you could tap on save. Then from there, I'll simply rename this page to test. 
then you'll tap on save again after you have done that you're going to tap on save once it has been saved all you'll need to do now you can see enable auto save if you want we'll enable that then all you'll need to do now you could tap on preview to see how the page looks so let's do that real quick and you can see the product page right here but it would take more time to change out all of the features and add in your products but you get the basic impression and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe